Good afternoon everybody, my name is Anjara Dioso. Today I'm going to present you a proposed scheme and future development for carbon trading system in Indonesia based on case study in Muratawar at on power plant. This research is consists of our four authors, myself, Mr. Indratno, Mrs. Perdita, and Mr. Imadi Ariata. Along with the growth of the global economics and also technological development, environmental issues such as global warming and air pollution have rapidly rocketed in recent years. Over past 10 years, greenhouse gas emission has gradually increased about 2.7% annually and market countries in the world have given quick response by submitting a declaration in Kyoto and the follow in Paris Agreement. As one of the global countries, Indonesia has ratified the agreement and submitted its commitment through a nationally uh, determined contribution or NDC. It is submitted that Indonesia commit to reduce emission up to 29% on their own and up to 41% with the support international from the business as well by 2030. As you can see here, the Energy sectors, particularly power plant emission, has dominated the total emission and in the energy sector has contributed up to 49% or 600, sorry, 562,000 million ton CO2 to national GHG emission. And one of the project from the PGB itself, which is recently under construction, is combined cycle gas turbine or add-on at Mora Tower Power Plant Complex. This project is about 650 megawatts in total capacity and expected to start synchronizing by 2021 for support in Grid Jakarta Power Grid System and the Java Bali. And then, uh, overview of the carbon trading uh, system. Uh, we try to elaborate the carbon trading system. There are two types of the carbon emission trading. Uh, has been well developed in globally, namely a cap and trade system and a baseline and crediting system. The cap and trade system is designed by setting a cap as an obligation to achieve emission reduction target. It is expected to internalize some of the cost emission by driving actors to seek cost and effective means to attempt reduce uh, emission and then uh, baseline and credit system does not involve any project that are implemented under regulation uh, such uh, unlike the cap and trade system but the credit it's uh, is generated with its new projects implemented in this best and line, best and baseline and credit system commodities that are emission reduction that have been certified based on terms and conditions applicable on the market. The mechanism there is explained in the Kyoto Protocol and Paris Agreement such as a clean development mechanism is conducted in many developing countries such as Korea and Malaysia. And then uh, there is a joint implementation uh, between the indust industrialized country only and then both parties have production obligation under Kyoto Protocol. And the products of the uh, joint implementation is emission reduction units or ERUs and clean development mechanism products is certified emission reduction. But there is another one in the voluntary market global. There is a non-profit organization that develops or manages GHG to emission and result in the emission registry such as uh, VGS or verified carbon standard and a GS or gold standard both of them are managed by the non-profit organization in our research design this paper concerns uh, in proposing business schemes and of emission trading for power sector especially in Mora Tower uh, and then by the time we have the carbon trading system, uh, we calculate it, calculate first of the CO2 emission and then estimate of uh, another greenhouse gas potential such as uh, nitrogen oxide and the methane emission and then 
the project at on we count the potential emission reduction by baseline emission minus a project emission and minus leakage emission and then determine the emission of the factor of the beauty itself in java bali around 0 0.88 and then the result is uh, in the Mora Tower block 2, 3, and 4 in the project, uh, we compare with the block 1 and 5 in the existing power plant that has add on or combined cycle. We can see the combined cycle generate lower net intensity emission. If you compare and with the emission cap proposed by the Ministry of Ember. Ministry of Energy and Mineral and the single cycle power plant in block 2, 3, and 4 every year from 2015 to 2019 always have a net intensity uh, ton CO2 emission equivalent per megawatt hour above the emission cap so uh, if the uh, scheme already implemented by the obligatory regulation the single cycle always have a deficit emission uh, ton and the particularly block 2, 3 and 4 now generated in average GHG emission as uh, 0.8 tons per CO2 megawatt hour and then we calculate the potential emission reduction from the add-on project by the scenario of the capacity factor, uh, almost 60%. Uh, potential emission reduction we count for the its block is 700,000 for block 2 and 1.4 million for block 3 and uh, 1.4 million for block 4. We uh, we estimated there is a 3.5 million CO2 emission reduction if the capacity factor as the feasible study uh, expected around 16% and then uh, as we know we have a potential emission reduction that's so big we need to a uh, carbon pricing or carbon market mechanism that we need to introduce uh, to more tower we set a five uh, sample cases one is a cap and trade and two an energy efficiency certificate trading and uh, CD, uh, clean development mechanism or CDM and then joint crediting mechanism and the last one a voluntary market is verified carbon system with the six of scope uh, with the six of aspect uh, first one is scope and the risk ten uh, percent uh, we gave the aspect because the cap and trade uh, the highest risk because there, there is a mandatory compliance by 2025 in the roadmap so if we introduce it earlier it can be mitigated so the conclusion is this plan based on the historical record data of emission exhaust about 0.5% higher than the proposed cap by Ministry of Energy which is 0.5 ton per CO2 CO2 per megawatt hour it is indeed a required strategy mitigation to reduce GHG emission by installing installing the additional heat recovery steam generator and steam turbine generator system or we know as a combined cycle power plant after the project completes later on this plan have the potential reduce emission up to 3.5 billion tons of co2 in 2021 with the scenario of capacity factor 60 percent uh, and then it is uh, carbon quota of Mora Tower is likely able to trade it or ca carbon credit is able to trade it through the market based alternative instrument uh, so we choose the highest score is a cap and trade instrument with the score 
in 4.35 uh, below the other uh, mechanism such as energy efficiency certificate, carbon offset uh, CDM, ZCM, and uh, voluntary market like verified carbon standard. Uh, this conclude my presentation. Thank, uh, thank you very much. And then uh, we have, if you have a question, please drop in the comment section so we can uh, have a, the, the discussion by uh, email from one of our author. Thank you very much. Uh, see you in next time.